Let's take a look at how to set up OBS to allow you to be able to draw on your screen. Um, I am in the OBS space and what I'm going to do is set up a layer in OBS that is going to be um, is going to receive the signal from my screen annotation program, be that Epic Pen or Screen Brush. I have to have a layer inside um, of the uh, of OBS to be able to essentially be the canvas that those brushes will paint on. Um, I'm going to put that in this camera view layer. So I'm going to create a new source. So I hit the little plus signal down here and I'm going to go up to Mac OS screen capture. Get that. And I'm going to rename this pen layer. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm right now I'm getting this sort of weird in inception moment. Um, I'm not interested in a display capture. I'm going to go for an application capture. And the application that I'm going to try to capture is screen brush. If I go to the notification, uh, the uh, application uh, selector here, you notice that screen brush doesn't show up. What I have to do is select this show full screen and hidden windows and applications. Now when I go back to application, there's a huge list. And I'm going to go down to screen brush. There it is. I click it and I'm good. All right. If you look on my screen, there's now a red border around here. That red border is my pen layer. And you'd think it would just be that easy. You would think. But let's take a look at the problem when I bounce back over to the um, to the Zoom meeting side. I am now in Zoom land. You will recognize by the border that we are we are we are in um, we're, we're, we're doing a little Zoom meeting here. Now I am going to activate my screen brush. I've got a Stream Deck over here, so I can just push one button. If you don't have that, you have to learn the key codes, the key commands to make Screen Brush open up. So I push my button, and you can see on the side that has, I've, I've got a, <clears throat> I've got something going here. Now, let's take a look at what happens when I start to draw. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is just, I am going to try to trace well, look at this, huh? I don't think I want any audio. Um, so, um, as I'm moving my brush around, look at those two arrows. You see that? Um, now, if I try to trace something, uh, that wasn't very accurate. Let me trace my head over here. Isn't that weird? I'm getting two things. What's going on with me getting two? There I am. Why are the, oh, 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 here, I'll just go on this, this little, uh, I trace around the picture on the wall. Why did I get two squares? What's going on with this? Well, one of these lines is the line that is directly underneath my pen and it's relating to my larger screen, the one that I am drawing on. The other one is a layer inside OBS that is reading that layer on the outside and it is broadcasting it to the inside. So imagine if you had magic paper, you could put that up against the front of a television set and when you trace on your piece of paper, what you are drawing appears on an image inside the television set. If you make that thing inside the TV small, right, you'd still trace here, you'd just get a small image there. If I grew it up to really big, it would be really big. If I moved it over here, those two images would be out of sync. So there are two drawings. One is the one that is right underneath my pen, 
The other is the one that OBS is reading. So people who are watching this are not going to see two lines. They are only going to see the line that OBS sees, which is the one that is, let's see, right? It is the one that is missing. Ah, yeah, there. It is the one that is missing. It's not around the picture. It is the one that is a little bit offset. I don't want that. I want to be able to, if I, if I draw, um, I want the, to, to, when I draw my circle on the screen, have that circle appear on the recording and for the people I'm presenting to in exactly the place that I put it. So what's going on here is that the image, the layer inside is slightly smaller than the one that I'm drawing on and it's offset. So I'm going to need to enlarge it and move it till they're both right on top of each other. And I do that back over on the OBS side. And this is a part that is kind of weird. It's going to be trial and error. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. Bounce back to OBS. I'm going to take this frame and I'm going to enlarge it. All right, so if I just pull one corner, it's proportionally stretching the thing out. And so if you look here, it's now, it's now a little bit larger. I am going to try to get it roughly in the middle of this. Something like that. Let's now go, so I've enlarged it and I've tried to center it. Let's take a look on the zoom side and see what our viewers are seeing. I, um, the best way to do this is to look at my cursor. So up here, you see I have two cursors. All right, uh, right there. Right, ah, there. All right, I've got two arrows. The bright arrow is the one that my, my screen sees. The small black arrow is the one that OBS sees. I want these two arrows to be the same size and right on top of each other. So the first thing I see that I need to do is I need to enlarge that one of those arrows a little bit more. And I also need to move it up and slightly to the right. Let's go back to OBS. This is the part where it's just going to be some trial and error. But you'll see we're going to get it. Um, OBS, there you are. So I'm going to make this slightly larger. And let's first just let's see. Actually, I'll show you. Let's let's bounce back to. Uh, we're gonna bounce back to Zoom. I'm gonna bring my cursors cursor over here. I bring my cursor over here. So if you notice on the cursor on the on when I put it over on that side, right? The the small arrow is on the inside of the large arrow. I bring it over here, it's the same thing. That means that the active OBS screen is smaller than the screen that I'm drawing on. I'm gonna still need to bring these out. When I get them to the, the, so that my inside one is the right size, what's gonna happen is the things can still be offset, but as I move the cursor around, they are not going to be changing positions relative to each other. Because look at it right now. I've got the small one on the inside over here. They're getting closer to each other. Here they're right on top of each other. Here, see, I don't want that. That's because the OBS screen is smaller. Let's make that OBS screen bigger and see what happens. OBS screen. Get yourself, whoops make that a little bit bigger. I don't have to hold down any shift key or any command key when I'm doing that. I just grab a corner and it will resize proportionately. I just made it a little bit bigger. If I made it too big, what's going to happen is the OBS arrow is going to be outside of, of, of my arrow. Let's go back to zoom. Oh, look at that. They're almost right on top of each other. And let's see if they are changing places. Over here, over here, that's pretty close. I 
think I'm going to make it a little bit larger. Cross my fingers. What I want is to see them just tracking around parallel. That we're gonna we're gonna keep keep that distance from each other. Zoom meeting. Okay, it's above it. Above, so it's above it and a little bit to the right. It's above it and less to the right. I know what about over here. It's oh. Do I need to make it bigger or smaller? I'm confused, so I'm just going to try to make it bigger. And it doesn't work. We'll make it smaller. Like I said, this portion, I've just gotten this by trial and error. So it's above it and a little bit to the left. It's above it, further to the left. It's above it. Oh, no, I think I'm going in totally the wrong direction. Trial and error. Let's make it smaller. Wipe over here. Boom. Zoom. All right, we are directly above it. We are directly above it. We are directly above Oh, did we? Oh, look at that. Okay, so over here, it's just above it. It's just above it. It's just above it. Down here, just above it. Okay. We got lucky. We got it to be the right size. Now we just need to get these overlapped. And if you look, the little, the little OBS arrow, that uh, one that doesn't have as bright an outline on it, it is a little bit above the other arrow. So I'm going to go back here to OBS. Do -do -do, do -do 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 -do. OBS. And I am going to bring it down. So I'm just going to use, I can use my up and down arrow keys to just jiggle it a little bit this way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I tried seven times. Let's try that. Zoom. Let's come down maybe eight more dots. Eight more. Let's try that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go back to zoom. Ooh, five more. One, two, three, four, five. Back to zoom. Oh, look at that, look at that, yeah, uh-huh. I'm gonna move it, it's, it's just a little bit to the left, I'm gonna move it that way. Down one and to the right three. Let's see if that works. No, not you. I want OBS, hi. Um, down one to the right three. Now I cross my fingers, and I'm hoping for perfect alignment when we get back to the zoom side. Ha! Look at that everywhere I go. Yeah. All right, now I hit my screen brush. There's my screen brush. And this time, as I draw, I'm drawing tracing this chair. You see, I just get one line. Both lines are right on top of each other. They're the same size. Now, we're not done. Um, when I hit my screen brush, um, and uh, you can uh, you can turn it on when you turn it off. Everything erases. Uh, that's the way I've set it up. I'm going to go back here into OBS, and now I'm going to do something really important. My pen layer is exactly where it should be. I'm going to lock it. See that little lock right there? I click that, and now I'm not going to accidentally move that pen layer. Whew, all that work. I don't want to accidentally jiggle it. 
um, and have to do that all over again. Now, if I want to, I can take this same layer and I can put it everywhere else. It does not work to kind of make a pen layer template as a scene and import that scene because every time that new scene comes in, it will resize itself just to the size of your active window. What I want to do is actually take this enlarged layer and copy that into each little scene that I want it in. So I'm gonna pound C, I'm gonna copy it here, go into document camera, I'm going to put it in there, document camera and keynote, I am going to put it in there, I'm going to, I'm good to go. Now, um, let's take a look at what I can then do with this. I'm gonna go back over to my Zoom side. Here I am back in Zoom. I'm going to turn on my screen brush and if I were teaching somebody how to uh, uh, draw this bird, um, this is a beautiful Western scrub jay photographed by Vivek Kanzodi. Um, you can find his work at birdpixel.com. I might tell somebody first just look at the angle down the back of the bird and out the tail. Put in a ball to kind of block in where the head is and you might give yourself the eye beak line, that line that goes down the middle of the beak and under the eye, just to get that, that, uh, that angle. Then I'm going to look at, let's change colors just to give this a little bit more emphasis, this angle here underneath the throat and just out onto the start of the chest. So those are my first lines. One, two, three, and then four. Those are my first four lines. Um, if the bird takes off after that, I have, I have, um, I've established these essential angles um, its body is going to fit into an oval in here and from there we can sort of work at um, you know blocking in other details but you can see just how nice it is to be able to draw on my screen when I want to erase it I just turn off screen brush and I can turn it back on again if I want to and continue to draw other things. I'm now heading back to OBS. That's the trick. So what I did is I made this pen layer. Again, um, the way that I got that is I created a new layer that was in the screen uh, screen capture. I then had a chance to select, do you want to get the screen? Do you want to get an application? Do you want to get a window? I picked application and I chose my screen brush. If you're using Epic Pen, you would have selected Epic Pen. I then have to take that window and play with its size and its location so that when I draw, these things line up. If I do that, I'm going to be able to draw on my screen with OBS. <clears throat> At some point down the line, somebody's going to figure out a faster, better way to do this, but this is working for me right now. I do this work up front, lock that layer. All right, actually, that reminds me. Let's kind of go over here. I'm going to go into this, I'm going to lock that pen layer there lock that pen layer there. Um, that way <laughs> I don't accidentally undo that. Um, you can get that whole oriented thing in all your other layers just by copying and paste it. It will remember its position. I hope this helps. Um, good luck with your online teaching and uh, stay curious. I um, want to uh, thank everybody out there who's working at teaching other people how to uh, how to explore with a nature journal. Um, this could be a really useful tool for you on your online teaching. Thank you so much.